Okay, for Unit 4, your group project, we're going to be looking at conducting what's called an ANOVA. And this is used to test whether the means for three or more groups are the same. So maybe the means for dogs, cats, and birds is the mean cost the same. Or is we can't do, many people want to break it up and say, is the means the same for male and female? We can't do that because we need three or more distinct groups. You have to be certain that your, that your data is grouped appropriately. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my hypotheses using just like I did before where I insert an equation and I'm going to insert my null hypothesis. And what I'm going to look at is is the mean of the vet cost the same for all groups depending on what t type of reason they're there for. So I'm going to say um, And I can get rid of my equation, because we can actually type these out. The mean cost is the same for all types of vet visits. Uh, well, my three types are routine care, illness, and emergency. And then I have my alternative hypothesis, or my H1. And all I really need is the symbol, because these are, these are ones that are perfectly acceptable to write out in words. No other fancy symbols are needed in the hypotheses. So H1 is going to be the mean is different for at least one type of visit. Now just beware that the ANOVA it will tell us if the mean is different, but it won't tell us what type of visit it's different from. So once I run these routines, I can't say that the mean um, emergency cost is higher than the other two. It might be what I think, but I can't prove that based on these results. And I'm going to insert my alpha level. And I'm going to do a 0 0.05. And notice Excel does automatically turn that into an A, and I can undo that just by clicking underneath and doing undo automatic capitalization. Now we're going to look for some Excel output. And what I'm going to do is go to my vet data, and I need to do a little bit of legwork to set this up. So I am going to set this up, and I want to have all the types of visit codes together. So first thing I need to do is get these all sorted, because I want all of my one visit codes or my routine checkups, all my two visit codes or my illnesses, and all my three visit codes. I need to sort those so those are all in separate columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is select all my data, and I'm going to do a sort. And I'm going to sort this by visit code. So it's just going to group them all together. That's going to make it a lot easier for me. And then I can have a routine column, a illness column, and a emergency column. And remember, you need at least three of these. So I can copy and paste all of my routine illnesses costs into the one underneath routine. And sorting it just makes it a lot easier to find them. Otherwise, you got to go through and do this one by one. I can do all my illnesses. And it's important to know you don't need the same number in each column. You do have to have more than one data entry in each column. So if I only had one emergency come in, this would not be okay because I do need at least two data points per column. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I've met those criteria. I have three different columns. I have at least two data points in each column. Now I'm ready to run my ANOVA. And that's found in Data Analysis. It's the very, very first option all the way on the top, single factor ANOVA. I'm going to say OK. And I can input my data. And I'm just going to do that by highlighting it all. I do want to tell Excel that it is grouped by columns. I put them in columns. I do have my labels in my first row. And if you decide to use an alpha other than 0 0.05, you want to make sure that you have checked, um, changed that alpha level. And here comes my ANOVA output. And I did make that just a little bit bigger just by dragging it over. Now this can be copied and pasted right into your Word. But what we're really, really looking for right here is this is my critical F value. So I'm going to turn that a different color. Or this is my test statistic F value, sorry. And this is my critical F value. So 
I'm going to copy and paste that right over there. And I'm actually going to put that at the end, so I'm going to type my information above it. My critical F value is 3.55. My test statistic is, that's calculated by Excel underneath the F column, 22.7. Now I need to make a decision. And I am going to decide, since the test statistic of 22.7 is larger than the critical F value, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude Well, since we rejected the null, we have to conclude the alternative, which was that the mean was different for at least one type of visit. Now remember, I can't say which type it is. I can't say it's the emergency, although I probably will tend to think it's the emergency vet visit, just because that those tend to cost more. But I can't prove that. What does this mean in practical terms? that the cost for the three different types of vet visits, routine, illness, and emergency, is not the same. And again, you can't say which one's different. And then I'm going to follow that up with my Excel output just so I can see how you calculated it. And it is nice, but not necessary, just to highlight what you're talking about. It's a great thing to do in business if you're presenting this to someone, especially someone who's not familiar with what your numbers you're looking at. This really makes them stand out so that they can really see what you're referring to. And you can also look up here. And you can see, just based on what I'm looking at, the summary, that the mean for routine care was about 98 bucks. The mean for routine, or for illness, was about 99 bucks. And the mean for emergency was 330 almost. So you can probably conclude, or you can probably guess that the emergency cost is the one that's different. But again, you cannot prove that. That comes later in more courses as to how to look at and prove that it's actually the difficult one. Although, this is pretty conclusive evidence that that is that different one.